An update now on our breaking news out of Milwaukee, where the Common Council gave final approval for a downtown streetcar. Mayor Tom Barrett plans to sign the bill, moving the project forward this afternoon. Opponents tried everything to stop the streetcar, including stalling the vote and waging a petition drive, but at today's meeting, they appeared out of options. Also breaking today, a renewed push for the Kenosha Casino. The Menominee Tribe offering $220 million to cover the taxpayer's share of the new Bucks Arena that has been proposed if the casino plan is approved. Governor Scott Walker denied the casino plan last month, but now the tribe is asking him to reconsider. Milwaukee Mayor Tom Barrett is joining us now. Uh, actually scheduled to be here on another issue, Mr. Mayor. We'll be talking with you about that after the break, but we have to get your reaction to a couple of these big stories. Let's start with the streetcar. You've been pushing for this for a long time. Do you feel like you have majority support in the city of Milwaukee behind this project, or was this a leadership issue for you who, where you said, this is where I'm going, others are going to have to get on board? Uh, if you would have asked me that question two years ago, I would have said that this is a leadership issue, that we have to get the city moving. I think now, though, a majority of the people in the city support it. I think that there's been a lot more information, and there's going to continue to be more information that will help people understand that this is really about the growth in the city, that we've had tremendous development downtown, and we want that to continue, but we want the benefits of that to really benefit people throughout the city. So it's important to have a strong downtown, and if you live on the south side and you want to have firefighters, this is how we can do it. Or if you want to have more police, this is how you can do it. There's already talk about expanding it uh, because there are a lot of places that it doesn't go yet. Uh, are you worried about trying to sell the price tag over and over and over again? Well, I'm going to be very aggressive in working with the federal government to have them provide as much help as possible. They've been helpful in other cities, and we have been denied help on this because I think they felt until there was actually a shovel in the ground, they weren't going to step forward with more money. Now, once we get that shovel in the ground, I'm much more optimistic that we're going to get significant help from the federal government. Governor Scott Walker, as we indicated, has already said no to the Kenosha Casino project, but now that project is coming, uh, it, it, finding itself intertwined here with our arena downtown proposal. Um, what do you make of the latest announcement uh, from the Menominee Tribe that they want to help pay for the Milwaukee Arena? Uh, I think that, that the debate is over on that issue. I think that clearly the state, the governor, has made his decision on this, and I would be shocked if somehow this were reopened at this late date. Uh, but it was obviously a very clever proposal, but I, I just don't see the governor changing his mind on this. So how do you see things playing out in Madison? Uh, you uh, know those halls as well, of, of, of course, in Washington and uh, what you're doing here as mayor, but how do you see this playing out in Madison for the individual legislators that have to sell this, even outstate? Well, I think what people have to understand is if the bucks are not here, the state is going to drive absolutely no income tax from those players. Uh, and right now the state is getting millions of dollars from those players in income tax. Under this plan, the state will continue to get the, the dollars it's currently receiving. The new dollars are coming in essence from the television contract. And if this team were to move, the state would receive absolutely nothing. So it would actually take a step backwards mm -hmm. if we don't approve a, a plan that will allow the bucks to stay here. Last question for you on that. Uh, do you have an idea of what's going to be asked of the city in terms of a contribution, if not for building, if for infrastructure, if those other things? We've already had extensive conversations with the Bucks management team, and, and certainly infrastructure is at the top of that list. Mm -hmm. um, there are going to be utility costs. Some streets will have to be re relocated or vacated, uh, and there are significant costs that, that go along with that. All right, Mr. Mayor, thanks very much for your uh, thoughts on both of those issues. I'll see you in a couple of minutes. And yeah. we'll, we'll be back with you and more in just a few minutes. Come